And it was kind of just for fun. I was working as an art director at the time at a fashion company. I started making them for friends and for coworkers, um, and then people started buying them for me. And I thought, you know, 10 months after I'd made my first candle, maybe I should try and, and put up an Etsy shop because people are like trying to buy them for me. It'll be nice to have like a portal. And I, I thought it was kind of a funny thing. I was like, I don't know who's gonna buy candles online, honestly, you can't smell them, but whoever does, that's awesome. I definitely felt like I wanted to quit many times. For one month when I couldn't pay my studio rent, you know, what am I doing? Am I crazy? Who do I think I am? Like, <laughs> but I just got through it. And it, it, it's like for every low as an entrepreneur, there's a high. I'm Tamara Main, and I'm a designer and entrepreneur. Hello, how's it going? Um, so I have all of these um, bouquets that I made. I feel like I want more like, I'll see what how many elements I have, but like I want to have more of like a textural. Yeah. I have a really big family out in California and I was going to go visit them for the holidays back in 2012. and. I just, I was trying to think of a good gift, you know, everyone would like and use. Um, and so I just decided randomly to buy a candle kit at the local craft store and decided I would try my hand at making candles. And it was a lot harder than I expected. Um, my first batch was, was terrible, it was a disaster. I got very obsessed with getting it right. Um, people didn't get their Christmas gifts till March, but <laughs> I you know, was experimenting with different kinds of waxes and reading about different kinds of fragrances, the ingredients, um, the materials, the different types of wicks I could use. And I experimented with tons of different types of uh, materials until I finally got the formula and the composition that I wanted correct. So at one point, Etsy featured um, my candles in an email, and I checked my inbox, my orders, and I had like 100 orders, and I was like, oh my god, how am I going to fill these? So, And then uh, eventually I, I quit my job. I remember uh, walking into my boss's office uh, when I had decided to do it, and I was just like shaking. <laughs> this is very nerve-wracking to let something like that go, and, and then, you know, walk out into the unknown of entrepreneurship and, and starting a company and, and you don't know what's going to happen and there are a lot of ups and downs um, but I, I thought I, I had the confidence I was like I know I can do this I'm really just gonna have to pursue it very hard and I did. <laughs> You know, they're very kind of distinct steps. First, you wick the vessel. Um, you have to make sure the wick is centered, and so you stick the wick at the bottom of the vessel and make sure it's in the middle, and then mix the fragrance into the wax. And then you pour the wax with fragrance into the candles, pour a batch first, and then secure the wicks, and which we do with clothes spins, which is kind of an old-fashioned way, but we it's, it's proven to be the best method out of everything we've tried for years. Um, and then we just let them uh, cure over the course of several weeks. Um, the fragrance and the wax continue to bind together. Yeah, and then we cut the wicks, clean everything, label them, and then cap them or box them. We decided on uh, sustainable materials. Um, our whole team is very passionate about that. We try to use as little plastic as possible, be conscious about the choices that we're making. It's of the natural waxes, it's the most cost effective. Um, it burns very cleanly. Um, the wax that we use is relatively easy to work with. It's not as, the scent throw is not as strong as, as petroleum based waxes, but um, people really like that subtle aspect of our candles. The aspects that I am still and I think always will be passionate about are the creative aspects of running a business. That part I have always loved and that's always kind of been, I've always been that type of person. I really enjoyed um, working with my hands making the candles. Um, I really enjoyed the meditative process of it, the pouring, um, mixing the fragrance in, the wicking and kind of how you have a finished product, you know, relatively quickly. Um, there's a lot of satisfaction in that. Some things that I 
don't like so much about uh, running a business. I really don't like the legal stuff. I don't like the, uh, the accounting part. I don't like the HR. I don't like, you know, anything that's pretty much left brain. You know, I can do it and I had for a long time. Um, luckily now my husband has joined our team, so he's helping me out with a lot of that stuff. So also my operations manager and my accounts manager and, and um, everyone else are taking on the stuff that they enjoy, but I don't enjoy. I started the business as, as just me, and then suddenly, you know, the orders started coming in. I realized I couldn't handle it all by myself. Yeah, it was me, and then it was four of us, and it was seven of us, and now it's about 12 of us. If I could go back, I think I, I would have been more selective about who I hired on my team. I've had issues in the past where I, I just hired quickly and I was being too nice. And even though I didn't feel 100% about certain people, it was really, really nerve wracking and I lost a load of sleep over it. I wish I'd, I'd taken more time in my selection process. I think my, my biggest challenge the past couple of years has been balancing um, running the business with motherhood. Um, and I think that's been the hardest thing because I, I, I'm the type of person that tends to go like all in on anything that I do. And so, um, you know, the business, I was all in on it before I, I was pregnant and had my son. And then when I had him, I wanted to be all in on, you know, raising him. And so the business kind of, you know, it was hard to pay attention. So right now it's, it's kind of creating the balance of doing the business and then also being very present, raising my son.